In this video, we're going to have a go at doing a theoretical protein purification. At the end of the video, I'm going to give you options about what you should be doing next or what you can do next. And links to new videos will appear on the screen. And it's up to you to pick which direction we go in the purification process. Now, I'm basing my purification process on the simulation of a booth which is a fantastic protein simulation and I'll put a link to that in the description of this video so you can play with it and have a go at purifying proteins to your heart's content. But in this simulation, what we're going to have a go at doing is purifying protein 18. So here's protein 18. It's an enzyme up at the top. It is heat stable to about 40 degrees and it can tolerate a pH range of about 4.5 to 9.5. Now in our theoretical protein purification, what we've done already is to clone the gene of that enzyme into a plasmid vector. We've transformed that plasmid vector into E. coli and we've cultured that E. coli and allowed it to express that protein into its cytoplasm. So following the culturing, we would typically centrifuge the culture to gain a bacterial pellet. That bacterial pellet contains our recombinant protein and we're going to need to resuspend that in a smaller volume. So we're starting off here with a basic buffer. We have a tris buffer to maintain the pH. I've got some DNAs in there to break down the DNA that might be present. A little bit of RNAs in there to get rid of an RNA that's in there. And critically, there will be some protease inhibitors these protease inhibitors are present to prevent the unregulated destruction of my protein by the proteases that will be released when we lyse the cells. Now, if you're not familiar with the term lysed, it means to break cells open. Now, we're going to lyse these cells to release the content of the cytoplasm for future purification steps. And there are a number of ways we can go about doing that. But I'm going to give you two options today to do this. We've got the option of either chemical lysis using lysozyme, which breaks down the outer cell wall of the bacteria. Now, I know E. coli is gram negative and lysozyme works better on gram positive cells, but it is possible to use it to weaken that cell wall. Or we have the option of starting with physical lysis. Now, in my lab, I have a sonicator. So that's my option of what I'm going to use. So it's up to you. What are we going to do first? Shall we do chemical lysis or shall we do physical lysis? Choose.